Chelsea won on Sunday, yet everyone on the panel were really unimpressed with them, despite the fact with 10 men, of course, for much of the game, uh, they managed to beat Brighton by three goals to two. Uh, would you like to bring a more positive light to this victory, or would you agree with the likes of Frank and Craig that they're still a long way, way off where they want to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I have to be honest. They, they, they're not... Um, OK, we, we don't have to make it as worse than when we just kicked off, you know, like last season. You cannot compare it to it because <clears throat> they're doing a little bit better than that. But away from that, the, when I watched the game, no, you can The advantage for them was that Brighton played in the middle of the week. So physically, I, I saw they were trying to take control of the game, but they couldn't do it like they normally did it. Chelsea scored really early in the first 30 minutes had two goals up okay and then they let them come back into the game and then you could see the co the competition becomes um instead of you controlling the game you had the bridge you control the game normally when we play the game with two nil up now that's when real football comes and and then you become the boss on the field and i didn't see that okay then your mm. captain gets a red card and then things change and i feel like that is the thing that that chelsea is like i also was surprised that uh, they didn't play Matoma against the Sassi. I was surprised because I was like, why did, you know, um, uh, Serbi didn't play him against the Sassi? Because the Sassi, I don't know if he's going to be a, a, a right-sided player because I see him more like a centre-half. So I would have played him against a one-on-one, -on -one, we uh, against a, a kid that is dribbling. So good. He came on and it was at the end. But things like that, I think that was more advanced for, for Chelsea, seeing that. And they, they could see too easy. That's that's you, When you play the game, even your goalkeeper sometimes, you have to make sure he brings you security. And I felt like sometimes, even when the ball slipped only under his foot and he controlled it again. But moments like that, the little things should go away. And I think that's what they're struggling with. Because everybody tried to prove a point to the coach because you want to play. I get that. You're young. So you emotionally, you're sometimes driven, and I think that's what also got them the couple of red cards that they went through. But away from, from that, look, as long as you win, at least you can move forward. But you want to make sure there is something, you know, on the back end of saying, like, hey, we're going somewhere in the sense of what we are trying to create. And sometimes that's the biggest question for me. Penalty or no penalty, Stevie? We've got proved to be the winner, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I think it's a penalty. Do you? Did James Milner try and win the ball? He doesn't. He went straight for Mudrick. Shaq, that's a funny face. Yeah, no, I, 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 I get what Steve is saying, but I, I, I didn't think it was a penalty. I, I thought... No? Um, you have I, to go for the ball, Shaka. I, I, I thought... If I'm going for the ball and I, and I use my arm I, I, strength, that's fine. What I, I, what I, I thought Milner, what Milner does is use, use his arm well, he's strong, and running in, in a line that kind of eases Mudrick away, and, and he, in the end, can't. <laughs> Get to the ball, so he goes over and he makes a meal of it. But I, I can't do that. That's not in the laws of the game. That yeah, I can't put can't, my arm on you. Yeah, but he clips no, you said you eases him away. He You're supposed to put his, He puts his arm up. But you have I, to go for the ball at the same so, time. So, yeah, but if if Mudrick if but eases but him if, away if, without and, going and for gets the ball, himself in a better position to play the ball, then it's fine. He gets himself in yeah, a better position. He gets his, why, all I'm saying. Why can't he put his arm on Mudrick? You have to go for the ball. He's, he's, if he's, in, a better, if he's, on he's ball, in a better position. If he's on the ball at the same time, then he can use his arm for strength. He's, what you cannot do is make no attempt to when, play the when ball. Sanchez and then, gets, as you said, no, move him away with your arm. When That's the, not allowed. When the keeper gets the ball, uh, Milner is in a far better position to play the ball because Mujic is strong the, enough. Okay, why doesn't he play the ball then? Because he's just, because the keeper's coming. No. So he can just play the ball. He can just play the ball. He can just muscle him away with his forearm. Without yeah. even trying to go for the ball. Milner needs... Mil, uh, not Milner. Mudrick needs to be a whole lot stronger, if you oh, ask oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mudrick needs to be a whole lot stronger. Uh, Mario, you have the deciding vote. <clears throat> no, because I decide that it's definitely... I understand the penalty given. Why? Because he put arm in. OK, let's say that's a challenge of norm, a normal battle, right? Two players are going for it. But then he clips him at the end. When he clips him at the end... The kid's going to fall. OK, he could wait for the fall or he could, you know, try to make it a little bit more than what it is. But come on, Milner is not quicker than Mudrik, eh? Mudrik was advanced. Stevie said that he was in front of him because he's also quicker. So he wanted to get to the ball. But then, of course, he pushes me, then he clips me, I'm going to fall. You got to give me a pen. Even if it's not... I know a lot of people will say, like, hey, come on now, it's just uh, you're pushing each other. Yeah, but you cannot clip him at the end. If you can't get to the ball, then...
then you cannot get to the human too. 